I think it's really interesting when you look at the kind of the diversity of applications um, and I think it's, it's, the quality was reasonable. I think I'm always looking for things which are genuinely transformative. People who have really focused on, you know, quite radical innovation uh, which delivers big changes and big impacts on the ground. So I think there was some evidence of that this year, um, so the overall quality is good but yeah, I think it could still be a lot better. I think we're all, we're all still falling short of um, my own personal expectations of what needs to be done but I, I say that about everything. There's two sort of big areas. One is on the sort of um, negotiation side of things. I think um, some of the entries this year looked actually how you negotiate with suppliers and actually there's a huge scope for innovation actually on a contractual and sourcing type basis which I think can help to transform the market as the evidence of feed-in tariffs and those type of government initiatives have proven. Um, in terms of actually specific technologies I'd be a little bit hesitant to say oh it should be anaerobic digestion, it should be air source pump, it should be solar PV because actually I think all of them have got a role to play and all of them are going to be important um, what I want to see what I would like to see is, um, is applications and ideas which can genuinely be taken to scale um, and actually potentially have a huge benefit for UK ind industry and technology because you know we all know in economically chastened times we want to see the strong technology ideas coming through which will benefit for green jobs in the UK. The Feed and Tariffs did. I think the review is maybe taking it uh, a step back again. Um, I just think we're suffering from a little bit of short-term short-sightedness. You know, we know that all of this stuff has to be done. It's probably inevitable, um, it, indeed arguably essential. Uh, and so any kind of procrastination or thing which, any aspect which delays the ongoing implementation is going to be problematic. So I, sometimes I think we're cutting our nose off despite our face, but trying to make sure short-term savings, but we know there's really enormous long-term gains to be had. Well, it's quite interesting. From Futera, in the next 12 months, we're just celebrating our 10th anniversary, so we're very much doing a kind of retrospective, you know, review of where the whole market has come in the last 10 years, and now we're looking to what happens in the next decade. Um, and you will probably see us doing a lot more radical things in terms of the narrative and the vision that we're trying to talk about, because I think what's holding back a lot of changes, whether it's in energy, whether it's in food or transport, is, is the really compelling, exciting, positive vision of where we're trying to get to. Uh, and I think without that, we, we remain mired in the status quo and short-term considerations. So expect to see some more transformative visions of where UK and the world might go in the, con in the context of sustainability. Thank <laughs> you.